Today's lesson is lesson 9.7 in your Go Math book. Um, our essential question is how can you compare decimals? So when we think back to what compare means, it means we're going to decide which one's bigger, smaller, um, if they're equal, that type of thing. Okay. So we're going to go through and unlock the problem. The city park covers 64 hundredths of a square mile. About 18 hundredths of the park is covered by water, and about two tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. Is more of the park covered by water or paved walkways? Okay. Um, first, I'm going to figure out what I need to find. I need to find out which is more. Is more of the park covered by water or paved walkways? Okay. The information I need to use is that water or paved walkways. About 18 hundredths is covered by water, and about two tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. I'm tempted to just circle 64 hundredths here because it's a number and I'm probably going to need it. But if I look at the problem, they don't ask me to compare anything to how much the whole park is. They just ask me to compare two things within the park. So I actually don't need this information. Okay, so I'm going to cross it out. So what do I need to find? I need to compare uh, the amount of water to the paved walkways. Okay, the first way we're going to try to do that comparison of those two decimals, which is 18 hundredths and 2 tenths, is we're going to use a model. Okay, On this way, I have this one divided up into hundredths, and I have this one divided up into tenths. They're all equal within, and this, the starting piece is the same as this starting piece. They're both squares, same size. Okay. So 18 hundredths, well that's one full tenth, so all the way down, and then 8 hundredths in the next row, leaving 2 hundredths empty in that row, okay? And then 2 tenths is 2 full columns, okay? So if we were to compare those, put them side by side or even on top of each other, we could see that 2 tenths is more than eight, 18 hundredths or 18 hundredths is less than 2 tenths. Okay? That's not the only way we can do this, though. We can compare it on a number line as well. Okay? So if we can locate 18 hundredths and 2 tenths on a number line, then we can figure out which one's closer to 0 or smaller and which one's closer to 1 or bigger. Okay? So the only problem is that it's hard for me to go from tenths and hundredths. So I'm going to convert two tenths into twenty hundredths, okay? So two tenths is going to be equal to twenty hundredths. If you think back to our model, we know that's true because if I divide these into hundredths all the way across this, that would be twenty within those two tenths, okay? So then if I can find twenty hundredths right here, and then I need to find eighteen hundredths, well, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Okay, you can see there's two spaces between there and 20, which is kind of what we had here, two empty boxes. Okay, so in this case, 20 hundredths is more, okay. Um, 18 hundredths is closer to zero, so 18 hundredths is less than 2 tenths or 20 hundredths. Okay, the last way we're going to try is we're going to compare equal size parts. If you think of um, this in word form, 18 hundredths is the same as 18 hundredths, and 2 tenths, which is equivalent to how many hundredths? We just set up here in our picture that it's the same as 20 hundredths. As long as our pieces are the same size, they're both hundredths, and we can compare the two numbers in front, okay? And we know that 18 is less than 20, so 18 hundredths is less than 20 hundredths, or 18 hundredths is less than 2 tenths. So, if we go back to the problem, more of the park is covered by, you want to know which one's more, Two tenths is what we found is more, and that's paved walkway. So we need to write down here paved walkways. Okay, on the next page, page 534, we're going to use place value to compare this time. So it says you can compare numbers written as decimals by using place value. Comparing decimals is like comparing whole numbers. You're always going to compare the digits in the greatest place position value position first. Okay, so in this problem it says Tim has five tenths dollar 
and Sienna has five hundredths dollar. Who has more money? Okay. The first thing that we can do is we can just show it with our model. Five tenths is going to be five. These are ten equal size pieces, so five of these would be five tenths. Make sure you count carefully. Okay. And then five hundredths. Well, this square is the same size square is divided up into hundreds equal size pieces, and so I need five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so from the model, it's pretty easy to tell that Tim has more money. But we don't always have to draw a model to know that. Okay, what we can do is we can use a place value chart to help us. So I'm going to put Tim's money on the first row. So he has zero ones, then our decimal point, and then five tens. And then Sienna has zero ones, the decimal point, zero tenths, and five hundredths. Okay. So we're going to compare from the largest place value place first all the way down to the smallest. Okay, if at any point they're different, then we can start, we can decide which one is more and which one is less. So when we start at the biggest place value, that's our ones place. They're the same. So we're going to move down, okay, and we're going to compare the digits in the tens place. Here's where we have our first difference. Five is more than zero. So automatically, Tim's amount is going to be more than Sienna's because he has more of the larger place value. So 5 tenths is greater than 0 tenths, so 5 tenths is greater than 5 hundredths. Okay? On the next line it says compare the size of 1 tenth to the size of 1 hundredth. How could you use this to compare 5 tenths to 5 hundredths? Explain. Well, I know that 1 tenth of a whole is larger than 1 one hundredth. This tenth is larger than one of these. So, 5 tenths of a whole has to be larger than 5 hundredths of a whole, okay? Because I have the same number of pieces, it's like when we did fractions, um, we compared 5 tenths and 5 hundredths. When our numerators are the same, if we can determine which piece is smaller, then we know automatically which n fraction is smaller. Same thing in decimals. Since these are not these are hundredths, not tenths, and we know hundredths are smaller than tenths, and they have five of both, then we know that we have to pick this one as the smaller amount. Okay, so let's write that. Um, let's see, one tenth of a whole is larger than one hundredth. So, 5 tenths it of the whole is larger than 5 hundredths. And we can write that in decimal form as 5 tenths is larger than 5 hundredths. Okay? Let's go ahead and move on down to the last part. This is try this. It says compare 1 and 3 tenths and 6 tenths. Write less than, greater than, or equal. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shade 1 and 3 tenths. Well, one whole is going to be this whole square. And then 3 tenths is going to be 3 columns. Because they're divided into 10 equal size pieces. Over here, I only have 6 tenths. 3, 4, 5, 6. We don't have any whole squares colored in. So it's obvious that 1 and 3 tenths is larger than 6 tenths. Okay? If we had used place value to compare that, we would have put lined them up and compared one and three tenths and zero and six tenths. And the first place we would compare is the ones place. And since one is more than zero, we could automatically pick one and three tenths as the larger number or the larger amount. Okay? So sometimes using place value is easier than actually drawing the picture. 
Now it's your turn to try. You need to turn over your page to page 535 and complete the share and show before you meet with your teacher this afternoon.